How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Sun, and welcome back to another episode of the uh, Monks and Mystics campaign in Crusader Kings 2. I've been having a great time playing this campaign. Um, what do we want to do? What is our plan right now? I was thinking it over in between the episodes, and it's not a new session or anything, but um, I was just taking a minute to think about it. I think what we want to do for the next while is just focus on consolidating. We need to consolidate Italy. We need to consolidate Italy, preferably before it becomes, you know, part of uh, the HRE. And I think what we do want to do is, um, is uh, try to get to the point where we have enough provinces to form the kingdom of or the empire of Italia. And if we can form the empire of Italia, then we will go ahead and break free from the Holy Roman Empire. But we're not going to do it before then because it would just make it harder to. Uh, to actually form the empire, um, because we'd have to take land from the empire. Hold on, real quick. Thirty-one times point eight is twenty-four point eight. So we need twenty-five. Twenty-five provinces is what we need to create the empire of Italy. That's nine more. That's quite. Oh, is king of Italy or is king of Sicily? Interesting. Wait, so you can form one as the... What? Uh, no. That's quite interesting. That's quite interesting, yeah. Huh. Interesting. I'm glad that you are going to uh, pass on your claims to our son. That's going to be great. Um, well... I do, so yeah, so basically, I, I think that's the plan, basically, is we're going to try to consolidate as much as possible. Nine provinces. Nine. If we can get a duchy-level claim on the duke here, then we could totally get that one pretty easily. We're only 40. We have at least, like, maybe 10, 15, 20 more years, although our health is not in a great spot, I guess. Um, but yeah, if we could just, if we could, um, if we could, uh, Get that duchy. That's four. That's four right there. Uh, what other stuff do we need? We need... So that's four. We need uh, Tuscany and Spoleto. Yeah, we need, to, we need to get to work on this stuff. We really do. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do what I did a while ago and do this big old, like, triple war sort of thing. So basically... Uh, go to du jour claim on hold on are any of you related to anyone super powerful or anything? I'm pretty sure you're not But yeah grand mayor of Ancona. We'll declare for Ancona um, I think that sounds good to me. Why not? Uh, let's wait to call you until we have all these wars uh, Let's go to war with the Duke of Tuscany for Lucca Let's go to war with the Duke of Upper Burgundy for Spoleto and I think that's good then. Um, again, we are one province over right now. Uh, that's because we're eventually going to try to give away both of these um, to a sub-vassal and keep seven. But right now, it's okay to have nine holdings. Now, what we do is we say, raise up all of our troops at once and go and fight these dudes. Um, and call in our ally all wars he will call he will join um we should try to get some more allies just to speed things up so what about you the king of bohemia that's amazing yeah do that absolutely do that what other war uh allies do we want maybe i'm not gonna really worry about marrying a oh I, actually i can't anyways um or I, I can but it'd be harder to find them a marriage because you can't click the button i'm not gonna worry about finding uh wives for our sons who are gonna be the uh the counts of you know, of different provinces in the Holy Land, but that's okay. Uh, is it Z or C? I always forget it's C. Okay, let's go ahead and get all these dudes to, uh, to come over here to, to Acre. I know Acre was a big port historically, right? Um, let's also go ahead and... Uh, actually, I'm curious. What is the culture here? Is it Bedouin or Egyptian or... Yeah, it's Egyptian and Levantine. Uh, oh, no, no. Wait. Yeah. Egyptian Levantine. Interesting. Um, very interesting, in fact. Interesting. That's Catholic by now. I didn't realize that. 
Uh, yeah, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to let them marry who they want, but our other sons, our, especially our second oldest too, you're important enough that I'd like you to, to do this. So um, who's a, an alliance that we'd like to have? Maybe like you or something. Uh, let's, let's worry about our next daughter then maybe. You're seven. The Duke of Flanders. Duke of Tyrol. Yeah, I would like you to marry my daughter. That actually seems like a pretty good one. Yep, there you go. Okay, request council support. Cool, I, I'll try that. Okay, who's that dude I just looked at? Um, the Duke of Tyrol. Form an alliance with me? Yeah, thank you. No, I'm not doing that. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Um, we should also look at one children lack of focus. You can be a thrift, and that's good. We should still be even be earning money after we do all this. I think, at least if we're uh, if everything goes as it has been going in the past little while. Uh, who is that that just said they would ally me now? Uh, no. Oh, Bohemia. That's right. Okay. I just it took me a second there, but um, yes, and there we go. Let's go ahead and call you to arms. That's good. Cool. And yeah, this is gonna. I mean, we're doing three wars at once, but it shouldn't be too hard. I just hope that the freaking emperor. I'm, I don't even want to say it because he might hear me, but I don't want the emperor to freaking to a realm peace again. If he does that, I'm going to be so freaking pissed. So freaking pissed. Okay, let's go and get you on the boats and pick up the army that's in Sardinia, and then we're going to fight them. A lot. It's going to be pretty easy, too. I mean, we're going to, like, win all these wars. It's not even a problem, really, because of the fact that there's just... Ooh, on the Caliph... A holy war for What? Holy War for Arabia? What the fudge are you doing? Add one holding slot to Lum... Add a holding slot to Lombardy? That's crazy. That's really good. Yeah, I'll absolutely do that. I don't even care that it's going to be that much of a, a debt for us. In fact, I'll just do this and then maybe uh, expel the Jewry. Oh, no, we're not in pending, so we can't do that. Uh, still, that's okay. It's not it's not terrible. At least we should be able to, to live through it. Okay, let's go um, come over here. Oh, we have Malice. That's not good. Uh, if I remember correctly, all of these... Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, I believe all of these... Ooh, my son? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, actually, maybe I immediately regret that because that's a, like our third son. He's going to have claims and he's going to be pissed. So that's maybe not a good thing why I just did there. Um, we're still making money, but we're going to... Yeah, I was going to say we're going to have all these things happen. It sucks. I hate it. But whatever. Focus on one war at a time. Or one, you know, battle at a time or whatever. And we'll be good. Shouldn't even be that hard. Cool. And, uh, yeah... The county of Negev has converted to the Catholic faith. I suppose that's one thing we could be doing, is uh, converting provinces to the faith, or whatever. It's pretty cool that we got that, that province there, uh, or they got all those provinces there. It's uh, quite a boon to our army strength and whatnot. The Duchess of Sardinia? Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Okay, there we go. We lost Malice. That's good. I, I didn't want to die yet. This character is doing pretty well. They freaking became the king of Jerusalem. What more could you ask for? We've gained the trait Envious? That's not actually that bad. It's alright. Over the Vassal Limit. Why exactly? Are we over the Vassal Limit when we weren't before? That's not good. Huh. Well, we'll have to figure that out at some point. 
Um, my daughter to the King of Bohemia. Yeah, I'll do that. I think it's actually a good alliance to kind of keep intact long term, maybe. Sure, whatever. Year Ancona. This is the Florentines. Kingdom Vice Royalities? No, F that. Thank you. Oh my god, what is this? No, I can't do that right now. I'm sorry. But look at that. Six holding slots makes it makes this a really good province. On par with any of the best provinces in the world. Which is good. And, and Milan really was like a huge center of industry. And it still is today even, you know? Like it, it kind of makes sense that it would be such a big province. It, was, it really was like, in especially in like the Renaissance, Milan was like one of the the cultural centers of Europe, you know? So, I don't, I don't know. It kind of makes sense, I think. Um, cool. We can have like so many different things equipped. We have so many different things. It's cool. We're a, we're like a hoarder. It's great. I love it. So Duke of Tuscany, I'm gonna be taking your land from you here in a second. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, but yeah, basically we just need to keep doing this sort of stuff. Um, I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what we're gonna do. Nice. Um, we are going to... Ooh, nice. We can do this stuff now in Italy, in the Kingdom of Italy. That's really good. Uh, yeah, so investiture, controlled realm inheritance. We really want to do that, actually. We're going to pass that real quick. Uh, we also are going to bump down centralization, I think. But I want to wait maybe until I find a... Okay, another skilled tactician. That's always good to have another one of those in the family. My wife is pregnant again. Nice. Okay, let's get out of this war. Thank you, dude. I become your new liege, too. That, or that dude's new liege, because it's a... Uh, a uh, Jejura claim. That's good. That's actually what I wanted. Um, that's really good. Um, no, I mean, it's not like amazing good. It doesn't, it's not like a huge advantage over the other or whatever. But, you know, you know, it, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. Don't worry about it. Don't really care about that, I don't think. Not too much, at least. Cool. Let's go over here and smash this army. Again, I said I was going to try to go on speed 3 more often, but I see no reason really to do so all that much. Um, you did get a claim on a weak duchy of Thuringia. I'm not sure why, but whatever. Uh, meanwhile, what was I going to do? I was, I was just about to do something, and I forgot. Uh, there's a new Countess of Acre. Um, one thing we should do is look, let's go to speed three for a while so that we can have time passing but still be looking at stuff. That's like a strategy I should kind of like use more. Um, you, Pas Pasquale, 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 you're perfect actually. I didn't realize you were in my realm still. You are the perfect sort of person. You're not an heir to that, right? She has her own heir in line. Good, okay, good, 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 good. Here, you son are about to become a double count. Uh, maybe not a double count. But here you go. I'm going to make you the Count of Piemont. Piemonte. There you go. You're the uh, you're the new Count of Piemonte. Um, because I'm over my vassal limit. Oh, wait. That's not going to help. Oh, no, no, no. It does help because I'm going to do this as well. We're going to actually go down to low centralization, um, which is actually what you want to do at this point in the game, really. Um, it's kind of interesting that in the early game you want le more and more centralization and then for a while you'll sometimes, well sometimes at least, you need less and in, this is one of those cases. Uh, but then eventually when we become an empire level title we'll probably need more centralization again because we'll need less vassals because we have bigger ones. It's kind of interesting how that works, huh? Do you have any kids? Yes. Hey you, you're also going to be a count, the Count of Monferrato. So look at that. All of a sudden, we have some uh, some cousins and whatnot, distant kinsmen. 
that are all vassals here. This whole area is like ruled by, well, not this area actually, but uh, but this whole area right here, which we are still the duke over again. Remember, we have the duchy of Susa. We actually have, no, we have just enough duchies. Um, you know, we have the, um, we have these, these set of uh, counties here that we are the duke over directly. So they answer directly to us instead of to another duke. Um, but we are still, there's still um, vassals underneath us. But I think that'll actually be okay. And it's going to help with our troops and stuff. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're the Countess of Bologna. I'm going to make you the Duchess of uh, Ferrara soon. Once I get that duchy level claim that I've been wanting this whole game. Alright, you. Maybe you can uh, do it where my others failed. Cool. Uh, victory. Piacenza. Nice. Piacenza. Alright, the Count of Jerusalem and Hebron. Okay. I will pay out of my own coffers because I'm a good king. Hold on. Let's go over here and say offer peace to you. Enforce demands. I become their new liege, which again is what I want. And actually, yeah, I guess part of this is due to the... Part of the reason that... Do I still have you as my vassal? Okay, no. I was going to say that'd be good. I, or that'd be bad if I did. I shouldn't. Like, where are, where are all these vassals coming from? You. You're the Count of... Anhalt? Wait, what? Anhalt is not right there, though. Anhalt is up uh, here somewhere. Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't realize I had a county of Anhalt, apparently. Um, okay. Why are you not underneath this duke? And you either. That's part of the problem, actually. Maybe I didn't need to do this. Maybe I'm just being silly. Dauphine, we, we also want to form the Kingdom of Burgundy at some point in time, I do believe. But I'm not sure when. Hold on. We need to we need to figure some of this stuff out. First off, you. Uh, you can become part of this. Transfer vassalage. Count of Anhalt. Yeah. Yeah, Prince Bishop. Yeah, do it. I don't care. Basically, I need to figure out direct what I directly own versus what... No, that's not what I mean. Uh, I need to figure out what I have as direct vassals. Like, you're directly underneath me. That makes sense. But some people should be underneath... Like, are you? You're... Okay, you're both beneath the Duke of Sardinia, which is as intended... What about you, though? Oh, you are the Duke of Provence. Okay. You're underneath him. And that's as far as we control. Uh, I guess we should transfer him to you, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Okay, Duke of Upper Burgundy. Let's go over there. Alright, we can go act up to speed 4 for a little bit. Why? What are you doing, son? Caught a bishop? Cool. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and say do that. We've had a lot of kids with this character. Normally I don't have this many. We normally have a lot, but not this many. Monreal has Monreal has become uh, become converted. That is also in the Holy Land of I believe, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, sh sure, whatever. Okay. Okay. After this war, we will have gotten Holy Comet. Oh, there it is. Holy Comet. Prestige, Mart. That's pretty good. Did that, wait, did that say 11 or 1? Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing, so that's actually not even that good. We have an Italian cousin, uh, who is the Countess of Jerusalem. Sweet. Why not? Okay, when the siege finishes, we'll probably have enough to end the war. No, actually not even that close, really. 
as close as I was uh, expecting, at least. Cool, let's do this. Go over here, enforce demands. Uh, apparently they gave me that county directly. Not sure why, but whatever. That was all the wars. Sweet. Um, what did we take that we got directly over here? It was the... It's part of the Duchy of Spoleto. We don't have any Duke of Spoleto people in our family, really. Hold on, what about you? Invite to court? Yes, I'd like to invite you to my court, woman. Why can't I give you land? I always, I never understand why why it is that you can't do that sometimes, but whatever. Um, Sure, marry this random dude, whatever. And then, what we do is, they get matrilineal married in a few days. In a few days. In a few days. Lovely. Uh, is he, are you ever going to answer? Apparently he doesn't like her. He wanted to let her, let her off the hook easy, though. Yo, dude. <laughs> What's your problem? What the fudge, man? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Where? What? What the fudge? Did that dude just like forget about us or something? I've never had that happen before. Ooh, I forgot about you. You know what? Whatever. I give up. Whatever. I guess. I guess she just won't get married. All right. Yeah, we're so dead, by the way. I actually don't mind dying. We're one-handed now. Weren't we already one-eyed? Are you... <laughs> yeah, alright, so now we're one-handed, one-eyed, disfigured, possessed... What else? Oh my god. This character. We're an impaler? What? Poet, homosexual... We're a homosexual crusader, game master, poet... What in the world, man? This character is ridiculous. They're only 44, too. <laughs> That's a... Uh, this is quite the character. I'm, I'm actually quite jealous of his, his ridiculousness. Alright, so, like, I'd like to have that person get married that we got married, but I guess they just won't be. Um, Why don't we try again? Here, invite you to my court. Oh, you wouldn't actually join my court, huh? Why? Why is this? You will join my court, woman. You just didn't know it. Okay. I could actually marry you to the King of France. King of France has not married anyone. Now that's something that's interesting. All right, will this dude answer? Excuse me? Oh, it did marry them. They just... It just didn't tell me? That's really interesting. Whatever. Uh, cool. Well, my, I'm making random commanders of mine be married to my cousins, because why not? So that'll be good. That'll stay in the family, or it should, hopefully. You don't have a wife. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you don't have a wife. I have a... No, you definitely shouldn't marry her. I need her to stay here and die so that it, her stuff... In fact, hold, hold on, hold on. Son, I'm going to kill your mom. I'm sorry about this. It's kind of weird. If How would you deal with knowing that your dad is... Your dad banged your mom's... Your dad banged your brother's... His brother's wife. And she, your mom would... You know, that just seems kind of weird, doesn't it? Is that just me? <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that's weird? So again, I do think that long term, this is what we plan to have our sort of du jour. This is our, like, du jour territory. Everything else around us is going to be owned by our vassals. But I kind of like this, having just these two little things here. It's nice. It's real nice, baby. Sure, we'll do that. Why not? We could hide. Oh, no, we can ask Liege for land. I don't care to do that. You're six, son. We have a lot of prestiges, this character, too. That's something I'm noticing. Well, hey, I need to actually wrap up this episode in a second. Is there anything else that I'm 
missing right now. I think we're pretty much good. Things are going all right. Uh, oh my god, the Holy Roman Empire expanded into Arabia more. What the fudge? What in the world is happening? The Holy Roman Empire is way too strong. We have to, like, weaken them or something. I don't even know. Um, meanwhile, though... Meanwhile, we should go ahead and come over here and make a couple duchy-level titles. So, for instance, you. I want you... Lord Mayor of Ascalon. I want to create this duchy for you. I cannot, of course. Uh, what about, like, uh, the duchy of... No, apparently none of them we can usurp right now because they're at war. All right, whatever. Cool, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. I've been having a great time. Hopefully you have too, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.